Hello, good evening everyone. This is Pastor Mark McCoy of New Harvest E Church. And uh, I've been led by the Lord this night to just give a simple and quick word. Um, normally on, on Wednesday night, um, um, especially the first or second Wednesday of the month, I would be on the God in the Midst program listening to um, Pastor or Minister Philip Hawkey and my sister, Apostle Barbara Kizzy. As soon as I get through with this message, that's where I'm going to go. But I want to simply deal with this subject tonight very quickly. What do you do when you don't know what to do? Again, this is what I'm dealing with. What do you do when you don't know what to do? Um, there are a couple of passages of scriptures that I I want to just talk about for a minute. I don't plan to be very long, maybe about another five to ten minutes. But I first want to take you to Acts chapter um, 16, and it starts at the sixth verse. And, and I'm going to show you a situation where Apostle Paul and, and the gospel writer Luke and um, um, I think he was with um, uh, Silas at this time, were in a situation where they didn't know what to do and they didn't know which direction to go. And it says, starting at the sixth verse, now when they had gone through Phygia and the region of the Galatea, Galatea they were forbidden by the Holy Spirit to preach the word in Asia. After they had come to Messiah, they tried to go into Bethania, but the Spirit did not permit them. So passing by Messiah, they came down to Troas. And a vision appeared to Paul in the night. A man of Macedonia stood and pleaded with him saying, come over to Macedonia and help us. Now after he had seen the vision, immediately we sought to go to Macedonia, concluding that the Lord had called us to preach the gospel to them. They were at Troas. And they didn't know which way to go. Uh, they didn't know what they were supposed to do. So what, what do you do when you don't know what to do? And, and, and what we find here is that at Troas, they, 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 they stood still. That, that's my first point. They stood still and God spoke to them. Now I want you to catch this. God didn't speak to each one of them. God appeared in a vision to one of them. He appeared in a vision to Apostle Paul. And when he appeared in that vision, that vision was a man pleading with the Apostle to please come to Macedonia. Come over here and help us. Now after he seen the vision, Immediately, Luke says in Acts, we sought to go to Macedonia, concluding the Lord had called us to preach the gospel to them. What, what, what does that tell me? When they received the word from the Lord, Paul received it, he shared it with everybody, and everybody came to an agreement and they went to Macedonia to preach the word of God. So, so I'm, I wanted to share it first from that standpoint, but it was two things that I wanted to really grab out of this text that, that I want you to grab out when you don't know what to do. You don't know how to do it. You don't know where you're supposed to go, where God is leading well, my ammunition, my encouragement to you tonight 
It's the first just stand still. And the place I want to go with that text is Psalms 46, verse 10. Let me read it out of the New, uh, King James Version of the Bible. It says, be still and know that I am God. I will be exalted among the heathen. I will be exalted in the earth. Now, now let me read it now from the Amplified Bible. Let be and be still. Let be. We said today, we say let it go. But, but let be and be still, the Amplified Bible says. And know, recognize and understand that I am God. And I will be exalted among the nations. And I will be exalted in the earth. And so the point I'm trying to make is the first thing you have to do when you don't know what to do is to be still. Let whatever's going on, your circumstance and your situation, just stop. As we say when we're dealing with someone that's caught in a fire, you need to stop, drop, and roll. What we're saying tonight is you need to stop, you need to drop, you need to be still and know that God is God and God all by itself. And he will be exalted among the nations and he will be exalted among the earth. And when you stand still and wait on a word from the Lord, the Lord will give you a word. And that's my final point tonight. Turn with me to one of my favorite passages of scriptures. Proverbs 3. Proverbs 3 verses 5 and 6. And it says this. Out of the New King James Version of the Bible. Trust in the Lord with all your heart. Lean not unto your own understanding. In all your ways acknowledge him and he will direct your path. Now, now before I, I go and talk about this scripture, I want to read it from the Amplified Bible. Because the Amplified Bible, it makes it just jump out. Listen to it from the Amplified. Lean on, trust in, and be confident in the Lord with all your heart and all of your mind. Do not rely on your own insight or understanding. In all your ways, know and recognize and acknowledge him and he will direct and make straight and plain your paths. Oh, that's it. Once you stand still and know that he is God, then you lean on him, put all of your weight on him and trust in him and be confident in him with everything that is in you, your heart and your mind. And you, you don't rely on your own insight or your own understanding, but in all your ways, know and recognize and acknowledge him, he will make straight and plain your path. And so, we go back to the verse where we started, over in the 16th chapter of Acts. That Six verse, all the way down to the 10th verse. And I'm simply going to start at the end of the 8th verse. Or I, he said, read all of the 8th verse. So passing by Messiah, they came to Troas. You might be in a Troas predicament right now. The Holy Spirit has forbidden you to go left. and He's forbidden you to go right. And you heard him. 
Now you at your ass and you don't know which way to go. You don't know what to do, but you need an answer. If you be still and trust God, he will give you an answer. As he did with Apostle Paul and Silas and Luke. And a vision appeared to Paul. In the night, a man of Macedonia stood and pleaded with him saying, come over here to Macedonia and help us. That's the word for tonight. Be still and trust God. You don't know what to do. You don't know which way you're supposed to go. Get still. And trust God. And he will. Direct. Your path. He will make it plain. He will make it clear. Because that's the kind of God. We serve. Amen. As always before I end the message. I like to give those who are listening an opportunity. To give your life to Christ. So we're going to pray the prayer of salvation. This prayer is based on Romans, the 10th chapter, verses 9 and 10, and Romans 10, 13. Romans 9 and 10 says that if you confess with your mouth and believe in your heart that Jesus died for your sins and that God raised him from the dead, you shall be saved. And then it goes on in verse 13. Of Romans the 10th chapter and says whosoever calls on the name of the Lord shall be saved let us pray dear father God I confess with my mouth and I believe in my heart that Jesus died for my sins and was buried and that you raised him from the dead I repent of my sins please forgive me of my sins and come into my heart I invite you, Jesus, to become the Lord of my life, to rule and to reign in my heart from this day forward. Please send your Holy Spirit to help me obey you and to do your will for the rest of my life. In Jesus' name, I pray. Amen. If you prayed this prayer and truly believe it in your heart, you are now saved. You now have the ability to trust God and let God direct you in the name of Jesus. Be blessed and as always, be a blessing.